care of me. <sighs> this place doesn't seem to have changed much from what I remember. <laughs> oh, there you are. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted watching the crowds. <laughs> Look at the busy flow of people. Life in the overworld carries on as usual, as if nothing has happened. Hmm, we're a little early. I've got an idea. I want to buy my mom a gift. You're more of an overworld local than I am now. Any suggestions? I don't know your mom. <laughs> I don't know what she likes. I mean, flowers, I guess. Flowers, huh? That's a great idea. I've been underground for so long, I almost forgot what flowers smell like. Flowers it is, then. Can you lead the way? Sure. Careful now. Hmm. This wasn't here before. Oh, he stops. He opens the doors and then he moves again. That's cool. How do I know which ones to pick? Ever Summer. <laughs> was that always the name? <sighs> Seems I was too young to get the irony back then. Uh, sorry. I don't mean to sound cynical. Maybe it simply represents the people's hopes up here. Now that I think about it, sending flowers is quite the tradition in my family. Mom, Dad, Vash and I, whenever something good happened, we sent each other flowers to celebrate. <laughs> Do you want to hear a flower story? <laughs> not really. You're right. Not the best moment for distant memories. I, I don't want to waste your time. I mean, I love you, Nat, but... Will you choose some flowers I am busy. Mom? To me, every flower carries a different meaning. It would take me ages to decide. Gosh. Don't worry, I don't think my parents will be picky about the flowers they get. Oh, quick, that florist is looking at us. Let's get sun. Let's get Marquise. Oh, Marquise's is it? One second, I'll get it ready for you. <laughs> there you go. Sorry. Thank you. Yeah, they look nice. They look lovely. Here we go, Nat. All done? May I have a look? Yeah. Marquise's. Expensive. Thank you. To be honest with you, uh -oh. it reminds me of Vash. Well, don't worry. Good memories only. Uh. I knew you'd pick the right flowers. Mom and Dad will be so happy. <laughs> Let's go. My mom will be there soon. Best not to leave old folks waiting. Okay, then. That was not my intention. You know what I mean. Come around and have a look. There they are. Mom. Nat. Nat. Is that you? Oh, come here, my darling. Vanessa. It's been too long, Mom. Too long. <sighs> Sorry, I don't usually get this emotional. How have you been, Mr. Oswell? 
Thank you so much for taking care of my parents these last ten years. I'm doing fine, Miss Natasha. Just fine. Look at you. You've blossomed into a fine young woman. Such a pity that your father... Dad, I was wondering where he is. Is he... Uh-oh. <sighs> it was three years ago, Matt. No need to be sad. Oh, man. He passed away very peacefully. This sucks. <sighs> oh. I'm so sorry, Mom. I'm so sorry. For ten years, I left you both in the overworld. Mr. Oswell, I'm sorry you had to bear all this weight. Don't be, my dear. It is my honor to look after your parents. It's not your fault that they sealed off the passage between the surface and the underground. Don't be so harsh on yourself, daughter. <laughs> Come on, Ed. Oh, Mom. I have so much to say to you. But, um, there's an urgent matter that needs your help. I apologize. I wish this were a happier reunion. But there are too many suffering with sickness in the underworld. And you're the only person I can go to for help. Ma'am, poor Nat. Oh, there's no need to apologize, my child. I've heard of your deeds down there, and I know you've saved many lives. Your father? <laughs> you would be proud of you. Very. We have many connections in the medical academy. No matter what you need, be it medicine or data, I should be able to get it for you. Be the doctor you always were, Nat. We have all the time in the world to catch up later. Man, she needs a break. This girl. She needs some... Uh, she needs a break. It's alright. I was prepared. Although it still hurts to hear it from Mom. With her help, we'll be able to ease the Underworld's medical supply shortage. That's good news for patients who'd lost hope. I really wish I could spend the whole day talking to her about the old days. Sadly, now is not the time. Let's head back to the underworld. We need to spread the good news. Miss Natasha, one moment, please. Mr. Oswell, I thought you headed back home with Mom. How come... I apologize, Miss Natasha. As a matter of fact, there's something I have to tell you in person. Yes? Something that mom isn't supposed to know? Oh, it's about the brother. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. Smart and sensitive. The fact of the matter is, in the first two years after the passage was closed off, I received many letters from Master Vash. What? Letters from Vash? Are you certain, Mr. Oswell? Of course, miss. I recognized his handwriting. You'll see what I mean when you read the letters yourself. Actually, those letters were intended for your eyes only. The delivery address was the underworld, but because of the sealing off of the passageway, the letters were sent back to your old house, to me. I don't understand. Did you not show them to my parents? I... I'm sorry, miss. Hmm. I opened one of them out of curiosity. Master Vash stressed in the letter that your parents must not know what happened to him. That's why I put the letters in a secure place, waiting to hand them to you when we could meet again. Uh, <sighs> I... I'm not sure if I did the right thing, Miss Natasha. I think you did. I just didn't want your parents to feel that their son was so close and yet so far away. Do you have the letters on you, Mr. Oswell? Let me take a look. Of course, of course, here. You can tell it's the young master's handwriting. Uh.
You continue your experiments on who? What do you experiment on? Cold has revealed to me my arrogance. How can a child who grew up in warmth ever we begin? He... <sighs> Vash didn't give up on his research into blizzard immunity. I'm not sure that's a good thing. Even after he left the city. I'm not sure that's good. I live in abandoned houses under broken roofs and continue my experiments. One step after... If what's in here is true, then... Then Vash must have built a lab somewhere in the snow plains and even made progress in his research. But how can that be? Do you believe it? I don't. There'd be no point in him lying to me in the letters. To lure, lure Still, you? It's possible he may have gone completely insane before he started writing them. I need to leave the city to recover my brother's research mm. data. Are you willing to come with me? Yeah, because I have a feeling that's going to be a trap. This young lady is right. Danger is everywhere beyond the walls of Bellabog. I know, Mr. Oswell. But I have a hero with me. She saved the underworld. I'm sure she'll protect me. Right? I will. <sighs> Vash. It's been so many years. Are you still alone in the blizzard? Oh. <laughs> Ignore me. I'm just talking to myself. <sighs> Let's go. It's time to face my past head on. No oh boy. This is not gonna be good. There's nothing good coming out of this. Nothing good. <sighs> Such harsh cold. It's hard to imagine anyone surviving in these conditions. <laughs> Unless blizzard immunity is real. You, you see that guy? Let's hurry up. We need to find any clues that Vash may have left behind before both of us become ice sculptures. You see that guy? That guy has blizzard immunity. Is that what you want? You see this guy here? He has blizzard immunity. Come on, Nat. You're smarter than this. Here, this looks like lab equipment. Maybe Vash left it behind. Huh. Still, it's all just used test tubes, beakers, and other vessels. There's no sign of any sample reagents or lab notes for that matter. Uh, maybe things were too harsh here. Oh, I know my brother. He's meticulous when it comes to medical experience. Well, then he's lying. There's no way he wouldn't document his results. I want to go deeper into the snow plains. Yeah. Can you press on any further? <sighs> Gosh. The temperature keeps getting lower. But 
We can't give up halfway. Here, let's stay close. Get our body temperatures up. Oh, <laughs> I have a, I have a dialogue option for that. Awesome. <laughs> oh, that's very kind of you. But don't you underestimate the leader of Wildfire. <sighs> Let's press on then. <laughs> she, she didn't. She didn't this like that. May not sound like me, but I hope that deity the architects worship can grant us some luck. That's Klippa. Ah, uh, let me... Oh, I can. No, that's animal experiment. Okay, so he's experimenting on animals. My own right arm. You didn't feel cold? Well, that means you're not human then. Oh god. The guy was experimenting on himself. Uh, hello? Citizens? Outside the walls? Hey, you two! Stop right there! Excuse me? That's a silver main guard. Is he yelling at us? Do you know who I am? Oh, I'd almost forgotten. No one can leave Balabog without authorization. I bet I can. Looks like we need to talk our way out of this. All right. I can't say you sound suspicious, but I can't just take your word for it either. Oh, God. Captain, look at her necklace. Maybe she's telling the truth. <gasps> it's the same as Dr. Vash's. My brother does wear an identical necklace. Do you know him? Are you really his sister? Dr. Vash saved a lot of my soldiers. Saved your soldiers? Yes. Take a look at the guards patrolling outside the city. All of them are risking their lives. Aside from the monster-related casualties, we lose men to frostbite every year. But thanks to the medicine the doctor leaves us, my soldiers are able to withstand the cold. They can make camps in the snow plains as footholds for our patrols. If it weren't for the doctor, we would have long since frozen to death. He leaves medicine? Glissard immunity. So he's experimenting on, on the people. We don't know. Dr. Vash is elusive. My squad only met him once, and he didn't seem like the talkative type. He leaves the medicine at specific locations, and our patrols go there to collect it. The medicine is extremely potent. A small vial could keep someone warm for a week. And speaking of the doctor, it's been a long time since we last saw him. At least two or three years. And I hope he's alive and well. <laughs> so he really did have a breakthrough in the snow plains. Oh, did the medicine have any side effects for you? Side effects? Not that I know of. If there were a problem, it'd be that we couldn't go back to the city until the effect had worn off. Too hot? Because the city would be too hot for us. We'd yeah. break a sweat just sitting idle. <laughs> hmm. Thanks for the information. We're planning to head deeper into the snow plains to find my brother. Seems like you've made up your mind. I'd really like to send some of my men with you, but we can't leave our posts. Here, take this medicine. If what you two told me is true, I'm sure you're more than capable of handling yourselves out there. Thank you, Captain. We'll take it with us. I don't buy it. I don't buy it at all. <laughs> <laughs> 